Captain Francisco car mechanic invented the first slot machine in 1895. Three mechanically spinning reels had 20 playing card symbols and an image of Philadelphia's famous Liberty Bell. If you were lucky enough to line up three bells in a row, you won the mighty jackpot of 50 cents. Bingo! Today's slot machines are glitzy and high-tech. They've got computers for brains and endless game themes and configurations. All packaged in cabinets made of lightweight sheet metal. Workers first assemble what's called the bulkhead, the upper part of the cabinet that contains all the game playing components, such as the audio amplifier, the circuit boards, the speakers, and what's known as the meter, the electromechanical counter that keeps track of the coins and credit going in and out of the machine. At the base of the cabinet, they engrave the machine's serial number, required by law. Workers install the machine's bill acceptor, into which you insert paper money, then the ticket printer. When you win, it spits out a ticket to either cash in or feed in to continue playing. They hook up the arm mechanism you pull to spin the reels. Then the upper door that frames the reels. Then the lower door that frames the button panel. Slot machines have several illuminated buttons for different types of bets. Workers plug a tiny LED behind each button, then wire up the panel. A plastic insert labels each button. Once they finish assembling the panel, they install it in the lower door. Now they take a metal panel with windows for the spinning reels. On the back, they install two circuit boards, one to operate the machine's digital scoreboard the other to illuminate the reels. They cover it in glass treated with a chemical that conducts electricity. Should a player try to rig the reels using an electronic gadget, this glass will earth the signal. A decorative window goes over the anti-tampering glass. Then workers install the whole shebang into the upper door. In the lower door, they install a touchscreen video monitor to display the payout information. Casino technicians also use it to configure the machine. Then workers install panels with slots for receiving tickets and for inserting either money or debit cards. And now for the slot machine's most famous feature, the reels. After a machine tests the spinning motion and lights, a worker slots in a plastic strip with printed symbols. 18 to 22 symbols per reel. The reels just snap into place into a waiting electrical connection. Next comes what's called the top box. Workers mount it onto the bulkhead, then install fluorescent bulbs. These will light up the eye-catching artwork on the glass front of the box. With a fully developed body, the slot machine is finally ready to receive its brain. An operating system on a programmable microchip in the machine's internal computer. The software that runs the game is on a memory card. It randomly determines the course of play, but within defined parameters. Essentially, it's pre-programmed to pay out a certain amount at random intervals over a period of time. But less money, of course, than the machine takes in overall. Before embarking on its spinning spree, each and every slot machine undergoes extensive quality control testing. Casinos demand the reliability of these one-armed bandits to be a sure bet, because slots generate more than two-thirds of casinos' revenues. Profits they won't want to gamble with.